like to talk about how to find a balance between getting fit, staying fit and still enjoy your life. So the first thing, of course, I'm a human too and I enjoy cookies, desserts and I'm actually a little bit of like a sugar addict so almost every day I need something sweet um, and uh, I love fruits and vegetables but I'm not that I'm not really a fan of fruits that much so if it comes to the choice between fruits and chocolate I always choose chocolate or cake but there is also the way how I try to stay in the shape that I am in and it works for me so first thing if you really really craving something bad just go ahead and have it don't make yourself feel miserable I mean don't really overdo it of course just have it once but of course when you get something good you have to pay for it how they say so if I enjoy dessert after my meal I make sure my meals through the day are healthy and clean I know we all want to have it all but most of the time you kind of have to choose that's what I'd call balance and by clean meals, I'm talking about very simple, homemade, mainly homemade meals. You don't even have to cook. I'm not a fan of cooking much, but if I, by, uh, in my opinion, cooking is just throw a few things together that I already buy from the stores. For example, maybe if you're not a vegan or vegetarian, maybe some kind of meat or chicken, but make sure that meat or fish is actually clean so by clean i mean no sauces on top of it nothing just plain meat of course i'm a fan of spices a little bit salt is okay not too much but if you can if you put salt on the salad try to avoid to put salt on your meat or if you put salt on your meat try to put avoid to put salt on your salad and the salads again I don't use those heavy dressings that come already pre-made in the bottles or packages even though I'm a huge fan to buy those um, salad mixes from Trader Joe's and they actually come with uh, little packages of sauces in them so what I do I usually um, throughout those packages of sauces I use all the other ingredients I put it in my bowl and I mix it all together and I just can separately add a little bit of olive oil I always add lemon juice which is a natural uh, detoxifier and a kind of like calorie burner as well so and it also gives an amazing flavor for any of the meals that you have also I add avocado and if you add avocado it's a good fats which you always need and also it gives that a texture of like you have some kind of sauce on your salad as well so just make sure everything is kind of like homemade put together from scratch um, that's the way I kind of find my balance so another thing what comes to your nutrition uh, basically how do we lose weight we lose weight when our metabolism start running faster um, how like in the simple words how does metabolism works if your body knows that you're not gonna get any food anytime soon if you consistently starve your body your um, your body your metabolism thinks that oh okay I don't know what I'm gonna get the food next time so let me just hold on on that fat on those calories and just like you know hold on on it and not to let it go because I don't know when this person gonna feed me next and yeah so that's why you can read anywhere and ask anybody why do people recommend to eat consistently more often but smaller portions and of course healthier um, make healthier choices with your nutrition that's why they recommend you have to ha um, eat uh, uh, maybe four to five meals a day it's mainly um, three big meals a day like breakfast lunch and dinner 
and those other two meals they um, they talk about mainly snacking in between and you will find yourself as um, as you work out more often and your metabolism speeds up you find yourself to be hungry more often and another small trick I always tell uh, my clients as well um, how not to get confused uh, of how much to eat per meal and what to eat so basically each meal I'm talking approximately three meals a day the, the real meals I'm not talking about the snacks uh, three meals a day so each meal should be consist basically not the each meal first two meals of the day breakfast and lunch should be consistent of one portion of carbs clean carbs one portion of protein it's whatever meat or beans whatever you um whatever your choices are and one portion of the greens it could be salad it could be steamed vegetables this kind of things so and the po by portions i mean i always tell my clients to look at your fist and this is, should be your portion so breakfast for example um fist size of carbs fist size of protein fist size of greens the same thing um lunch fist size of carbs protein and greens and what i recommend um so i don't recommend to eat carbs at night around dinner time so i always say just uh, make sure you eat the fifth size of protein at dinner time and you can maybe put a little bit more greens and vegetables on your plate in the dinner time to fill you up um, this is like not a crucial thing you can eat is you can eat as much vegetables as you want really um, it would not hurt your body So basically to sum up everything what I said before what comes to um, clean eating and cheating on your diet a little bit here and there it's of course balance uh, yeah so um, I have sweets a lot honestly but another thing what comes to the sweets or um, any cheat options that you prefer for yourself you can always uh, find the healthier alternatives to the same product. Um, you can always find sugar-free cookies or I'm a big fan of um, gluten-free products. Uh, I understand it's kind of like an overrated thing but I truly believe in gluten-free products because gluten acts like a glue in your body. Uh, yes, you don't have to necessarily go completely gluten-free, but when I have an option to go um, gluten-free, I always choose gluten-free. So the second part of finding a balance between uh, getting fit, staying fit, and still enjoying your life is of course exercising and being active in general. Um, I'm kind of like a gym rat and I love and enjoy working out and I'm actually as I said in my description box I am a certified personal trainer and fitness and sports um, been my passion through my whole life kind of so to me it's not that of big of a torture to go to the gym and work out the how they say invest in yourself that's why it's so important Maybe if you don't have much money to ask somebody professional to help you with your form or with your maybe routine a little bit or like even hire a personal trainer, which is a huge investment in yourself. If I cheated, right, like with my diet again, um, and I personally hate cardio, but um, I still do it, maybe not every day, but I try to squeeze it in um, at least 20 minutes of cardio after my workouts. And if I had a, a bit intense kind of circuit workout, maybe I'll skip the cardio. But yes, basically if I cheated with my meal, I'm like, okay, I cheated there, so I need to push myself a little bit harder at the gym and add it maybe that maybe I should do that cardio today or maybe I should add extra 10 minutes of that the same cardio that I would be doing anyway to my um, today's routine so basically this will kind of you know substitute for that cheating 
that you had earlier. So make sure you push yourself just a little bit harder at the gym or go for a run or get that hike in or whatever you enjoy doing. That's another huge thing of finding a balance in your life is finding the activity that you actually enjoy. At least get five days of it um, a week. Four to five days a week of workouts will keep you in shape and balance your body and mood. That's what helps me. And yes, um, enjoy your rest days as well. So now the third, um, the third thing I wanted to share with you guys is the little nutritional um, choices and things that helps my metabolism. So basically boosts my metabolism. Uh, as we all know, uh, in order to lose weight, you have to speed up your metabolism. Uh, how do you know that your metabolism is running fast? Uh, especially when you start working out more and consistently and eating cleaner, um, you will find yourself being hungry way more, uh, like more often. So don't be afraid of that. That's actually a very, very good sign. That's why I always make sure I have snacks with me, but the good snacks, banana, trail mix, um, whatever, green apple. Okay, so what comes to metabolism boosters, um, personally, as I said, lemon, it's a great metabolism booster. It wakes up your system, uh, spikes up your um, uh, metabolism and all kind of stuff. Cayenne pepper is another thing that um, I find very beneficial. Sometimes I add it on my um, protein, or like if I eat some meat or whatever, or even on the salad, you know, it gives a little bit of the spiciness, but also spikes up your metabolism. I have my own brand, as I, meant, I didn't mention, but uh, I mentioned in my description box. It's called New Temple and uh, i've created um all natural weight loss supplement with no harm for your body i'm not trying to promote it but i kind of am because i take it myself every day and i find it super helpful like especially when i'm cheating uh, i kind of try to i'm always staying in the same body frame like and i feel it really cleanses my body so that um all natural weight loss supplement you can read more about it on my website it's new and new temple foods.com uh, it's in a description box you can find all information there so basically the supplement has all of the um, has a herbal complex that helps to speed up your metabolism has a turmeric extract that um, decreases the any inflammation into in your body or in your muscles or joints that you get from working out Aminos, weight loss natural ingredients such as CLA and L-carnitine. You can, um, I'm a huge fan of those two ingredients myself, so I added it into my supplement. But as I said, it's all natural. There is no harmful chemicals or caffeine added in this supplement. So I always take it. And it also has a bunch of vitamins and minerals in it as well if you kind of slack in on your vitamins or minerals intake uh, so yeah that's another thing that really helps to keep my metabolism running and boosting it with time as well and detoxing my body when your body is detoxed um, again um, you feel lighter you feel more energized and you observe those good nutrients uh, from that clean eating that you're supposed to be doing way easier Okay, hope that helps.